these days by Vance Joy. We are in standard tuning. There is no capo. I'll talk about the chords here real quickly. We have an A, an F open, and a C with the root and the G. We do also have a D minor, and those are all the chords. So if you know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. But for now, I'll be teaching you how to play those chords. Let's start out with a tough one, the D minor. So your index is going to be on the first fret of the high E. That's your topmost string up here. And why is this chord hard? Well, it's kind of tough to press down your high E on the first fret. So if you're a beginner, it's going to cut into your finger. But keep playing. You'll get those calluses, and it won't be a problem. So next, you're going to have your middle finger on the second fret of the G string and your ring finger will be on the third fret of the B. So second string up and this finger is on the third string up. For our D minor, we are going to play four strings, so we are not playing these top E and the A. So just these four strings. Okay, now we've got that tough chord out of the way, let's talk about our easy chords. So, for our C root G, your index slides up to the first fret of the B string, it's your second string up. Your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the D string. Your ring finger on the third fret of the low E. And your pinky on the third fret of the A string. And we're going to play all six strings there. Okay, so that is your C root G. To get to your A minor, you are going to leave your index and your middle finger in the same spot and you're going to slide your ring finger onto the second fret of the G that's your third string up, one, two, three strings up and now we are not playing all six strings, we're not playing this low E, we're just playing these five strings so that's your A minor and finally your F open chord you can leave your index on the first fret of the B middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the G third string up, one, two, three strings up here your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the A string, and your pinky is going to be on the third fret of the D string. And you want to be careful not to play this high E. It's okay if you do, it's just it's not part of the chord. And you also don't want to play this low E. So just these strings in the middle here. And those are the chords. So let's get started on the progression here. The progression starts out like this. Okay, so we're on our A minor, down, 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 up, switch to your F chord, down, down, C root G, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. like you can start getting fancy with it and playing this so all I'm doing there is I'm leaving this index finger off hammering on to the first fret of the B going to my F chord or revised version of it so I can put my pinky on the third fret of the B string and then going to my C. So that's the main progression that's played throughout most of the song. There is a transition where it goes from your D minor to your F. Goes into the chorus, and which is the same progression as the verse, so just. Okay, one more time for all beginners, nice and slow here. Down, down. C root G. 
that's all there is to it. So that is going to be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, please feel free to comment below. If you enjoyed this content, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.